We're going to explain how to convert VRCA files to Unity. This process involves several steps, and it's crucial to understand that direct conversion isn't possible. VRCA files typically used within the VRChat platform contain a specific format optimized for that environment. Unity, being a general purpose game engine, needs a different approach. The key is to extract the relevant assets from the VRCA file and then import them into Unity. Here's how you can do it. One, understanding VRCA files. First, let's clarify what a VRCA file actually is. It's not a single file containing all the assets, but rather a package containing multiple files. The primary component is usually a model, often in FBX or GLTF format, along with textures, shaders, and potentially animation data. Additional materials like sounds and scripts are also often included. Two, extracting assets. To access these assets, you'll need to unpack the VRCA file. The method varies slightly depending on the VRCA version and how it was packaged. Sometimes a simple renaming, changing the .vrca extension to .zip, might work, allowing you to open it with a standard zip decompression tool. Other times, you might need specialized tools from the VRChat modding community. Search online for VRCA Unpacker or VRChat Asset Unpacker to find suitable software. Always download these from trusted sources to avoid malware. 3. Organizing Extracted Assets Once unpacked, you'll have a directory containing various files. It's essential to keep this directory organized. Create subfolders for models, textures, animations, and sounds to ensure a smooth import process into Unity. Improper organization can lead to errors during import and difficulties in managing your project later. 4. Importing into Unity. Open your Unity project. Within the Unity editor, navigate to the Assets menu and select Import New Asset. Browse to your organized directory and select all the relevant files. Unity will then analyze the assets and import them into your project. Make sure you select the correct import settings for each asset type. For example, FBX for models, TGA, or PNG for textures. This step may take some time depending on the size and complexity of the assets. 5. Addressing potential issues. After importing, you might encounter issues. Materials might not render correctly, shaders may require adjustment, or animations could be broken. This is common and often requires troubleshooting. You may need to re-import assets with different settings, manually fix materials, or use external tools to repair animations. Don't be afraid to search online for solutions to specific problems. 6. Finalizing in Unity. Once you've addressed all the issues, you can start to build your scene in Unity using the imported assets. Remember to adjust lighting, add additional elements as needed, and test thoroughly before considering the conversion complete. This whole process requires some technical knowledge and problem-solving abilities, so be prepared to learn along the way. Using online resources and community support can be invaluable during this process.